the hardworking men and women that do the tough jobs that help keep El Paso County moving. I want to make sure we have a clean community, a healthy community, a safe community. This is Tough Jobs. Hi, Joe. How you doing, Harry? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So where where, where are we going to be heading to? About a couple miles uh, west of here, we have a dilapidated, broken down mobile home. Oh. We've been receiving some call complaints for concerned neighbors. Um, this case has been going on for some time now, and it's time that we come on property and get this mess cleaned up. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. All right, sir, so if you want to grab that sign. Certainly. And where so, are we going to be putting this? So we're going to put this right here, okay. um, right so um, the public can view it. Um, basically, the sign tells the community that we're here today to clean up this property, let everyone know that we're getting this project done today. And if they have any questions, we have our phone number right here. So um, that's the first step for our cleanup today. All righty. All right. What's the second step? Let's get going. Let's go. Nice rooms. <laughs> <laughs> What are we taking apart today? What are we cleaning up? All right, Harry, we have a dilapidated mobile home. Right now, our contractor, Junk King, is tearing it apart, putting it in dumpsters, and taking it to the dump. So um, as you can kind of see, um, we have our officers out in this field picking up any type of trash that's scattered. It's really windy out here, so we don't want this trash going onto other people's property. We want to keep it contained. Oh. So Harry, are you a rattlesnake fan? Uh, as long as they stay in their part of the woods and I stay in mine. Yeah, I don't really, I'm not a fan. So um, first thing for safety we gotta do, put on your rattlesnake guards. Oh joy. Here you go. And huh, I'm assuming they're fairly self-explanatory. Yep, you just gotta clip them in and you should be good. Ever have uh, a snake attempt to penetrate these? No, but uh, rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head to the site. Okay. To clean all this up, because this looks like this is the main bulk of what's being cleaned today. How long does it normally take for the crew to do that? Um, Harry, it really depends. Um, we're out here in the elements, you know, we'll be out here essentially until it's completely done. Um, whether that takes a day or a month or three months, um, we'll be out here until the job's finished. Ah, I'm looking around here and uh, what are the rules governing tires exposed on the property? You know, what are you allowed to have? What can't you have? And anything else that most people would have indoors, but out here you find them outdoors. If you're on a residential property, you know, it's really for residential purpose, and we wanna make sure everything's clean. Storage of tires, if you have them, put them inside a garage. They're not allowed to be stored in your front lawn. Sofas or indoor furniture, again, that's gotta be moved to a garage or donated or, or put back inside your house. So Harry, remember everything we're taking today falls under that rubbish ordinance. So okay. I think this piece uh, would definitely uh, fall under the rubbish ordinance. Let's I check. would have to agree. No snakes or anything? Yeah. Let's I grab it. Snag that, let's go throw it away. <laughs> Something that's really important is we gotta be documenting. We gotta take some photos of before, during, and after. Okay. So I think right here would be a great shot to take. All right. We got uh, some equipment, we got our contractor. Um, they're showing what's going on, shows the rubbish we're removing. Um, so why don't you take the camera here? What we're looking for is a nice wide angle shot. Okay. We wanna have a frame of reference, we wanna show subject matter, um, and we wanna show a little bit of action. We wanna get all of that. 
Not everything we can grab by hand. Um, for, you know, for example, this big piece right here, oh, definitely wow. we're gonna need some equipment probably to grab that, um, especially with those nails hanging out. So that's when we get uh, Bobcat with our contractor. They'll bring some heavy equipment and you know, get the job done. And, uh, you know, pick that up. Uh, there's probably a critter or two under there, maybe. Possibly, yeah. yeah. We'll find out in a bit. Better the machine does it. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Harry, I want you to meet uh, John. He's our Junk King contractor. Hello, John. Nice to meet you, Harry. Nice How to meet you? you. Pretty good. How is it? Partnering with the county, what 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 what's your good feeling about that? Well, the county's great, and they do a really good thing. I mean, all these cleanups that we do are usually, you know, something that really needs to be done. And unfortunately, some people just don't have the means or the aptitude, I guess, to do it. And they've got themselves into a situation. Okay. I mean, we did a clean out for a lady that you could tell everything was fine until a point. Maybe she got too old. Maybe there was other issues, you know, or whatever. And then it just got away from her. And she was literally crying the, crying the whole time that we were picking it up, you know, because she couldn't thank us enough for, you know, trying to get her back to where she was. And she just couldn't do it. So we were there to help. And uh, I mean, that had to give you a great feeling. Oh, it's great. I, I mean, you know, we, we love seeing the cleanup. It's amazing how much you just clean up our property and make somebody feel. Show me how to run this puppy. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, pull back on that one, watch what it does. Ah. Okay, so you go down, you push forward. Goes up. up. Okay. okay. Now, so we're gonna move the claw, see that switch? Push it back and forth. Ah, okay. Okay, okay so that's what your right hand does. Okay. Okay, now left hand, go ahead and push it forward, down, pull back, up. Okay? Okay. Now, the next thing, tracks. It works like a tank. Pull these back, push them forward so you kind of get an idea. You want to hold them together. Okay, so now you're going exactly. Okay, back okay. is forward. Okay, I get it. Got it. Now separate them, pull one or the other, and you'll pivot like a tank. Ah! Got it? Got it. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to drive you over there and if you can see that steel bathtub, yep. we're gonna pick it up because that goes in our recycle pile. Okay. So what are some of the most interesting things that you have found on a cleanup? We found everything from Molotov cocktails to human waste, all kinds of things. Um, you gotta be careful what you're picking up. Yeah, we've seen quite a few interesting things. <laughs> I would imagine, I would imagine. We're seeing all the other stuff and, and then boom, we find this mug. Yeah, we find all kinds of random objects that are stored in, you know, people's front lawns or outside. And unfortunately, um, you know, with it being stored where it is, it, it falls under that rubbish ordinance. Well, yeah, it would um, make sense. Yeah, if it was somewhere inside someone's house, you know, be, we'd be good to go. But out here in the field, it's got to go to the dump. Uh, we'll fish for food. That's a good mug to have if you <laughs> like to fish. Hey, I've been looking for a topper for my truck. Dumb question time. Can someone just come and take something off someone else's land? So, I know this uh, thing looks pretty nice. So it needs a little TLC, I just think. Just a little. <laughs> 
but no, we can't take anything from anyone's property. We have to fall strictly under that rubbish ordinance, which, you know, I would say this is, uh, would fall under that. And two, everything goes to the dump. We don't keep or impound anything. Does the county uh, take all the cost, accept the cost for this, or is there some uh, sharing? So Harry, how it's done is the county pays our contractor once the work is completed, and then we bill the property owner. Um, the, the property owner then has an opportunity to come into our office and they could work out a payment plan within reason. Okay. Um, if, that, if they don't come into our office, they don't reach out to us, what we do is we file a lien on the property for the cost of service. So when the property goes to sell, the county will get those funds back and it'll go back into the cleanup fund to do more of these projects for the community. Wow. We talked about volunteer, you know, having volunteers. G give us some examples of how uh, instances or how you've helped other people out. Sure. One that comes to mind is we helped a property owner out in Black Forest. We worked with a group with Fort Carson to kind of, um, they created this event um, to help this property owner. He had a lot of fallen trees from the Black Forest fire, a lot of scrap metal and things like that. At this event, we had almost over 100 people there. Wow. So it was a community-wide effort, um, especially with a disabled veteran, to um, kind of get the property cleaned up and show that the community is there to, to help people like that. Harry, this is Charles Carlisle. Hi Charles, how you doing? I'm doing well, you saw? Oh, pretty good. You made a comment that, 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 that to me sums up everything. Yeah. Give us, give us your take on why you do this job. Uh, to me, it's about respect. You know, we're coming out into people's lives and, and telling them why they can and can't use their property and um, trying to make that connection with them, you know, rope them into the community, see how they're, they're uh, actions and conditions of the property falls into the rest of their neighborhood and um, you know it, it really does help to, to build that community build that bond between our local government and the, the citizens that we work with every day awesome uh, that's to me that's the epitome of, of basically what everyone in the county does I agree well it looks like we got uh, quite a bit done today yeah we got a lot done we still got a lot to do, but uh, usually these projects can take, you know, a couple of days to a full week, depending on how big the project is. But hey, I'm glad you came out. Uh, thanks for coming. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh -huh. Joe, I really appreciated it. I've learned something today. Great. That was the goal. All righty. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll look for you next time on Tough Jobs. Don't have a bar.